How's it going, everyone? Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, everyone? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today, guys, bring you guys another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare patch update video. And you guys are like, Matt, how many patch up videos are there? And I mean, what? I have to admit, I've done quite a few patch update videos this week. I mean, I might as well name my channel Advanced Warfare Patch Update Videos. But no, the reason why I'm doing this video is there is another patch, and it's for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. Now, the patches which I normally do are mainly covered for all platforms, and the ones which I focus on is the PS4 and the Xbox One. But as of lately, there have been a few issues on the PS3 and the Xbox 360, and their patches have been slightly different to the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. And some of you guys have been tweeting me saying, Matt, is there any chance you can do a patch update video for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3? Simply because, you know, I haven't got the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 and, you know, I really want to know what the patches are. So let me know, guys, down below. Do you guys want me to do two videos? So, like, for example, whenever a new patch comes out, do a video about the Xbox One and, say, PlayStation 4. And then a video about, you know, Xbox 360 and PS3. Let me know what you guys think and um, I'll be sure to do those videos for you guys. So in this patch, it's quite a short one. I mean, on the 360 and the PlayStation 3, because Sledgehammer Games didn't actually develop it, I think another company did. Because Activision wanted them to focus on the next gen. There hasn't been too many patches, but there hasn't actually been too many problems with it either compared to the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 where we've had map glitches and all that kind of stuff. So looking at the patch notes, guys. So um, what they fixed is they fixed the marksman and camo challenges when you challenges not to reset when you proceed. That was an Xbox One and PS4 glitch or a, yeah, a uh, fix. They fixed an issue with the ping bar not updating correctly. That was an issue as well. I think that was mainly an issue with the servers. Um, another issue that they fixed is the adjustment to challenges to unlock camos for weapons. That was also in the other patch, but it's now been fixed. Um, the ability to unlock the esports rule in private match, that was an issue which was on the other consoles, but it's now been fixed on 360. And they've spawned in a spectator mode fix as well. But also what they fixed, uh, which is, you know, quite, you know, because basically what happened was, was on the 360 and PS3, a few days ago when the patch went live, People were unable to literally play a game. Like, you go into the game, choose your class, and it would just freeze. And you would just, like, you get kicked out, or you have to turn your 360 off, your PS3 off, and uh, they get kind of annoying. So, um, they have fixed that now. So, if you guys play on the 360 or the PS3, you should be able to play games now. And if you do, let me know, guys, down below on what kind of jazz. So, that's it for this, this today's video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. This video is mainly about the patch update for the 360 and the PlayStation 3. So, like I said, guys, make sure you guys to do a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you're new. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers and all that kind of jazz. And as always, guys, have a great weekend. And see you guys in my next video. Have a nice day, guys.